you know, health wise, uh, you know, um, you know, the only one still, you know, the only one on the injury, you know, front is Bill Sampson and, and, uh, you know, he's, uh, you know, he's, he's still not, you know, cleared, you know, on the court activities. So, um, so he's not, he wasn't close to being ready for this one. Okay, guys, question. question. Go ahead, Joe. Yeah, Coach, just wondering, what's your favorite part of Big East games? Yeah, I mean, you know, from having played in the league and, and um, you know, having played in the league a, a while ago, and, and um, you know, I think the, you know, the intensity the, that the games are played at, uh, you know, the physicality, um, obviously the history of the league, I think you carry into you know, your, your season, and you have a lot of pride in that. Um, uh, yeah, so it's, you know, it's 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 a unique league. It's it, it's uh, you know, I think it's great basketball markets that all the schools play in, um, and really you know really value you know college basketball. And how does how does your depth how do, how does it help with that physicality having the depth that you do have, where you know fouls won't necessarily take the whole team out of the game. Yeah, I mean, it certainly helps. It helps over the course of a long season, and it helps over the course of of, of a forty minute game where you know you're obviously throwing a you know a bunch of body punches during these conference games, and you know hoping to get the people late in games and, and wear them out with uh, you know with, with the depth, uh, with our depth, and um, you know just having a number of different people that that can um, that could beat an opponent. Uh, um, just gives you, you know, when you go nine deep and, and you believe in the people you're playing, you know, the, if, if, if a couple guys have a bad game, you could survive that because you just you got more chances. Thanks, Coach. Dave? You got it. Yeah, Dave. And uh, this Butler team is, you know, pretty different from the one you faced last year. From what you've seen, what is – what has the kid Bates really added to this team? And then, of course, what does Thad Mata bring from what you've seen uh, on, on film so far? Yeah, so, you know, for for these guys, for, you know, Lacocious and, and Taylor and, and Harris, three of, three of the better young players in our league, um, you know, Laval, obviously, you know, gave them a, you know, a, a, at least the season and in two of their cases and, and uh you know in two seasons with Chuck Harris of like really great quality experience in college basketball. I mean, those are three really, really good players. I mean, those are three, you know, guys with you know all big all big all big East caliber, you know, ability. Um and, and then obviously you you, know, you add in a, 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 a an excellent center. I mean it's amazing how many great centers there are in college, but you know, Manny Bates, they, they throw the ball inside to him. He protects the rim. He's strong and athletic. Uh, you know, and, and then you, you bring in Hunter, who's a you know, tremendous, uh, you know, winning point guard at, at, at Purdue. Um, being on some of the best teams in the country there the last couple of years. So you know, they're, they're starting five, and as they get healthier, obviously, with Ali Ali and some of the bench pieces, I mean, it's a, it's a team I think that's going to play in the top half of the league without a doubt. Adam? Coach, obviously you guys were picked fourth to, in the league at the preseason. Do you feel like you guys have something to prove, or is that kind of on the back burner far away from your mind? Yeah, I think we're, you know, um, I think our mindset right now is that, you know, we, we uh, you know, we, we took care of the, the first part of our, our schedule, but our mindset is, you know, we're zero and zero right now. Um, you know, we're looking at these games like, you know, kind of one game seasons right now and um, just dialed into our, our preparation and, and and just not straying from our identity or, or, or our culture. George Hathaway. Hi, Coach. Uh, going into conference play, how have you prepared your team for this new style of competitive play? through practice? 
Yeah, I mean, the, the easier thing for us in, in, is that we practice so hard. Our practices are so physical. Um, you know, and, and that starts in June when these guys get here for summer one. So, you know, we, we, we don't struggle relative to, you know, I, our execution's got to be sharp. Um, you know, the wrinkles that we've put in preparing for this game tomorrow, we've got to execute. Um, got to execute our game plans. And, and play to our identity. And, um, yeah, in terms of physicality and intensity, we could, you know, we, we could bring that pretty good. Any, uh, any other questions, guys? Joe, you have another one? Yeah, Coach, uh, I'm just wondering, you know, you talk about, we talk about the transition for players coming from other conferences into the Big East, but is is there a similar transition for coaches, you know, preparing for those type of games versus, you know, obviously you came in, you weren't in the Big East, and then you switched. Specifically, Thad Mata wasn't in the Big East when he coached there before. Is there a transition for coaches too? Yeah, I think, you know, you, you know the way the games are officiated, you know, you've, um, you know, things, you know, things you may see from a, from different coaches, their tendencies, uh, their personnel, you know, trying to, you know, you get to know players that you've been coaching against for a couple of years. Uh, you know, you get more comfortable in two in the routine of uh, like, like where you stay and how long the flight is and <laughs> where, where you should avoid getting pregame from. Thank you. Dave? You got it. Um, yeah, Dan, do you think the last week or six days off from, from a game competition, was, was that good for you guys? Um, I mean, I think we're, you know, we're, we're excited to play. I don't, uh, it gave us a chance, I think, to, you know, to, to work on some things that we know we may face defensively. Um, you know, just adding some, you know, some different ways of trying to attack uh, offensively and defensively. Um, so you know, I think it was good. I mean, anytime you get more practice time, I think it's, I think it's good. Practice, you know, if you don't, you know, practice. You know, players love the games. Coaches value practice. And just one last thing: did, did you know um, did you know Louis Orr at all? I did. Louis was at Seton Hall, and um, you know, when I was uh, coaching at St. Benedict's Prep, and and uh, Growing up a Knicks fan and you know loving the Big East and you know Louis Louis is uh, his career at Syracuse his career in the NBA especially with the Knicks and you know it's uh, condolences you know and, and prayers you know, to Louis and his, you know, his family he's like his reputation in the game of basketball and in the game you know, was one of like uh, reverence and. Uh, um, a man of great faith and family, and um, that, you know that one. I mean, they all hurt. So that one hurts extra when you know of obviously the success he had in the game, but of his character, an incredible character of a, of a man. 